In this video, we will guide you through the basic setup of Kvant Laser Display Projector. But first, listen carefully to the following laser safety warning. Make sure you use your Kvant Laser Display System in the safest possible manner and in accordance with the legislation in respect to the region where you are using it. Don't look directly to laser beams or laser projector aperture. Make sure that no one can access the area where the laser emission may occur during the setup and performance. Also, avoid pointing the laser at reflective surfaces. Neither we, the producer of this video guide, nor Quant Lasers Limited, as the manufacturer, accept any liability for damage to property or health caused by following the instructions in this video. You are fully responsible. Let's begin. Open the flight case and take out the laser projector and accessories. Place the projector on a firm, flat surface. Firstly, we connect the emergency stop remote. Use supplied 3-pin XLR cable and plug the female connector to the XLR socket at the rear of the laser system marked as remote input. The other end goes to the emergency stop remote socket marked as input. If you purchase your Kvant laser system in the United States of America, insert the three-pin remote interlock bypass dongle into the emergency stop remote socket marked as user's interlock. Then use supplied keys and insert one into the laser projector and the other one into the emergency stop remote. Next, we connect the projector to a control device. Please note that there are different ways of how Kvant lasers can be controlled. In this guide, we will use the most common form of control called streaming mode. It means that we control the laser projector with Pangolin QuickShow software from a computer via Ethernet. If you want to use something else to control the laser, such as one of the supported lighting consoles, please continue with this guide until the end. Then follow related video tutorials which explain other ways of control in more detail. Now back to the subject. Use supplied Ethernet cable and plug one end into one of the RJ45 sockets at the rear of the laser system marked as Ethernet. It doesn't matter which one you use, both will do the job. The other end of Ethernet cable goes to the network port on the control computer. Finally, use supplied power cable with TrueCon black yellow connector to connect the projector to mains power. The new TrueCon connectors are great for many reasons, but on Kvant lasers, also replace the power button. Once the power cable is plugged into the mains and TrueCon is engaged, the laser projector gets powered up. Now it's time to open the aperture at the front of the system. Make sure you don't look into it from any front side direction. To start the system, switch both safety keys to the on position and check that the emergency stop remote button is released. If not, pull the red cap upwards. Then press the start button on the remote. Within a few seconds, the system is ready to emit the laser radiation and waiting for instructions from the control system, which is the laptop in this case. To check that the built-in FB4 interface is set to correct control mode, proceed with the following steps. Press the rotary knob once so the display lights up. Go to the operation mode menu. Choose Beyond QS option. The green tick symbol indicates the chosen control mode. The laser system is now ready for action. So let's sort out the control system. Start the computer as usual. Install the QuickShow laser control software. Do that by downloading and installing the latest installation file from Pangolin's website. When installed, start the QuickShow program and follow on-screen registration and update instructions if there are any. Once completed, QuickShow will take you through the quick setup process. There are three essential parameters you must choose from the available options during the quick setup if your Kvant laser is full color. First, 
high-performance scanners, second, three-laser RGB projector, and third, analog color system. Well done! You are now ready to make some laser projections. Click on the large button in the top right corner of the Quick Show window titled Enable Laser Output. And finally, choose one of the cues in the effect grid you want to project with your laser. The laser is now lasing. Isn't that amazing? OK, you may wonder why the projected image is smaller in size than expected, or why the projected image is flickering. Here we have a couple of simple hints for you. But please, be aware that changing the following settings without having a good knowledge of the subject can, in certain circumstances, lead to permanent damage to the scanning system and the warranty does not cover that. Hint number one. The size of the projection is set by default to 50%. To increase the size to 100%, go to Settings menu and Projector Settings. Press the button labelled 100 by 100 and the size of your projection will increase to 100%. Hint number two, set the speed of scanning to what your laser projector is rated for. For example, 35,000 points per second. You can do that in the next tab, named Scan Rate. Moving the slider labelled as Default Sample Rate to the right will increase the speed of scanning of your system and most likely reduce the flicker. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully, it helped you to set up your first laser display using Quant Laser Projector with Pangolin Show Control. And if you want to know more about how to use Quick Show, please follow Pangolin Quick Show Tutorials.